Imagine journeying back in time, not just a few centuries, we are talking hundreds of millions of years, life was a raw, unfiltered struggle for survival. In this ancient crucible, the earliest forms of the brain began to take shape. These were fundamental control systems, they were designed for one primary purpose, to keep the organism alive. This ancient core, this primal blueprint, still resides within each of us. It's a testament to the power of evolution, a whisper from our most distant ancestors. The story of how we came to conceptualize this inner ancient pilot often leads us to the 1960s. An American physician and neuroscientist named Paul McLean proposed a compelling model. He called it the triune brain. McLean suggested our brain wasn't one single entity, but three distinct layers. The oldest layer, he proposed, was the reptilian complex, or R complex. Then came the limbic system, associated with emotions, which he saw as an inheritance from early mammals. Finally, the neocortex, the seat of reason and complex thought, the hallmark of higher mammals, especially primates like us. McLean's reptilian brain was envisioned as the most ancient part. He believed it was a direct evolutionary inheritance from our reptilian ancestors. According to this model, the R complex within us governs these same fundamental drives. We're talking about survival instincts, territorial aggression, mating rituals, and social dominance hierarchies. It's the part of you that reacts before you think. It's the bedrock of your being, concerned with the here and now, with the essentials of staying alive and passing on your genes. Let's zoom in on this reptilian brain. What parts of our modern human brain correspond to McLean's R complex? Primarily, we are looking at structures deep within, at the very base of our brain. The most significant components are the brainstem and the basal ganglia. The brainstem is like the stalk connecting your brain to your spinal cord. It's incredibly ancient. The basal ganglia are a group of structures nestled above the brainstem, near the center of the brain. Imagine these as the core engine room of a vast, sophisticated spaceship. They handle the fundamental operations, the things that must happen for the ship to simply exist and function, long before any complex navigation or communication occurs. The brainstem, for instance, is the ultimate multitasker for survival. It tirelessly manages the body's automatic pilot systems. Think about your breathing. Are you consciously telling yourself to inhale, then exhale right now? Probably not. What about your heart rate or your body temperature? These vital functions, collectively known as homeostasis, are largely orchestrated by the brainstem. It ensures your internal environment remains stable, a constant hum of life-sustaining activity. This is the R complex at its most fundamental, keeping the lights on, the systems running, ensuring the organism persists from one moment to the next, without you even needing to think about it. Beyond just keeping you alive, these structures, particularly the basal ganglia, are heavily involved in instinctual behaviors. Consider the drive to establish and defend territory. This isn't just something you see in lizards basking on a rock. Humans exhibit this too, from personal space bubbles to fiercely guarding their homes or even their favorite chair. Paul McLean's vision of the triune brain painted a picture of evolutionary layers. At the base, the R complex, our ancient reptilian core, focused on survival and instinct. Built upon this, he proposed, was the limbic system, often called the paleomammalian brain. This layer brought with it the rich tapestry of emotions, fear, joy, anger, attachment. Finally, crowning it all, was the neocortex, the neomammalian brain, responsible for reason, language, planning, and our sense of self. It's like an old city with ancient foundations, medieval structures built on top, and modern skyscrapers reaching for the sky, all coexisting. Now, let's consider the limbic system in relation to our R-complex. The limbic system with key structures like the amygdala, hippocampus, and hypothalamus adds emotional color to the R-complex's black and white world of instinct. For example, the R-complex might detect a threat and trigger a fight-or-flight readiness. The limbic system then processes this as the of fear or anger. It's also crucial for social bonding, maternal care, and play behaviors far more developed in mammals than in reptiles. So, while the R-complex might drive territoriality, the limbic system could fuel the passionate defense of one's family within that territory, adding a layer of emotional complexity. Then there's the neocortex, the star of the human brain shows. This vast, wrinkled outer layer is what truly sets us apart. It allows for abstract thought, complex problem-solving, 
language, and conscious awareness. The neocortex tries to make sense of the world, to plan for the future, and to regulate the more primitive impulses bubbling up from the R-complex and the limbic system. You might feel an R-complex urge for immediate gratification, like grabbing that extra slice of cake. Your limbic system might add the pleasure anticipation. Section 4. Reptilian Rhythms in Modern Life, Everyday Manifestations So, these ancient brain structures and their primal drives, do they still pull the strings in our 21st century lives? Absolutely. Consider your daily routines. The way you get ready in the morning, the route you take to work, the habitual checking of your phone. Many of these patterns are managed by the basal ganglia, part of the R-complex. These routines provide a sense of predictability and efficiency. They conserve mental energy. While not life or death survival, this desire for order and the comfort of the familiar has deep roots. It's our inner reptile seeking stability in a complex world, making things automatic so we can focus on other challenges. Then there's territoriality. We might not be lizards defending a sunning spot, but watch how people behave regarding their personal space. Someone stands too close in line? You feel an immediate discomfort, an urge to reclaim your bubble. Think about your desk at work, your favorite chair at home, or even your side of the bed. These are subtle and sometimes not so subtle claims of territory. Road rage is a more extreme example. A perceived slight on the road, someone cutting you off, can trigger an astonishingly aggressive territorial defense response. It's the R-complex in a flash, perceiving a challenge to its domain and status, often overriding more rational thought. Social displays and the pursuit of status are also echoes of our ancient programming. Reptiles often engage in displays to establish dominance and attract mates. While human social dynamics are infinitely more nuanced, the drive to be seen, to be respected, to achieve a certain standing within our social groups can be incredibly powerful. Section 5. The Triune Brain, a useful map but not the whole territory. Paul McLean's Triune Brain model, introduced in the mid-20th century, was groundbreaking. It provided an accessible way to think about the complexity of the human brain and its evolution. It suggested a clear, layered development, the ancient reptilian brain for survival, the emotional limbic system, and the rational neocortex. This model gained traction in both scientific circles and popular culture. It offered a simple explanation for the internal conflicts between primal urges, emotions, and reason. However, as neuroscience has advanced, the triune brain model has faced significant criticism. Brain evolution isn't as neat as a simple layering process. Evolution modifies and elaborates existing structures. Modern neuroscience emphasizes the interconnectedness of brain regions. Emotions and reasoning constantly influence each other. The brain operates like a highly integrated network, not a stack of distinct evolutionary relics. Section 6. Conclusion understanding our primal programming for a better future. We've journeyed deep into the concept of the reptilian brain, the R-complex. This primal control system focuses on the raw essentials of survival. Residing in structures like the brainstem and basal ganglia, it manages our body's basic operations. It keeps our hearts beating, our lungs breathing, and our internal systems in balance. It drives fundamental instincts, the urge to protect our territory, the adherence to routine, and the fight-or-flight response to perceived threats. These primal drives shape our behavior and snap decisions. Think about it. That sudden flash of anger in traffic, the comfort of a familiar habit, the gut feeling when facing a risky situation. These are echoes from our deep past, the R-complex making its presence known. Understanding this primal programming gives us control. By recognizing the influence of our inner reptile, we can become more conscious observers of our impulses. When that territorial urge flares up, we can pause. Our neocortex can understand these ancient signals and choose a different course of action. This means integrating instincts with wisdom and foresight. The human brain is a cosmos within, containing worlds of ancient instinct, emotion, and reason.